Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. All right, it's Mexico. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, the national populace is taking over. I think it's fantastic. You are... Probably start doing you next, I believe. But I don't think we need a two times bonus to infantry weapons quite yet. Just changing our military structure, while that would be nice... Probably isn't necessary until right before we declare war on the United States. Zanarchism is an ideology still in its infancy with the main unifying factor being resistance, liberalism, and secularism. Under the Zanarchist banner, there exists both the legionnaires of all the pattern of the Iron Guard and the followers of La Raza. The inherent conflict between these forces concerned their racial policies. Zanarchist leadership under Salvador As uh, Pascal. The traditional caste of Mexico is the correct social order, including the enshrinement of Catholic priests. The Rosada is promoted by Jose. Uh, Jose idea that Hispanic race is a true ideal among the Mexican patriotism. Um. Yes, yeah, so we want national populism to go up as much as possible. Claim Central America for Mexico. Reclaim lost territories. I definitely should have joined the Entente first. Claim all of South America. Or Central America, I should say. Like, how many troops do you guys have? Three divisions. My middle mouse button has broken again. I do not understand why. Like, I okay, so I have to go to exit menu. I gotta quit and then reload back into the game. I have no idea why this is happening. It's only really happened with this, um... Like, right now. I've never had this problem before. And, like, right now, like... Oh. Yeah, like, the middle mouse button works now. Not too sure why it doesn't work. Why it keeps breaking in this uh, campaign here. Very strange. But anyways, what we need to do... And if I claim Central America for Mexico, we just get claims on the territory. Then 200 guns here. Look at all the gringos in the north, but claim the world. Okay, so... I don't know if this is going to like, declare war immediately. Okay, they do not like us, which is understandable. I really should have joined up with... Um... I should have, I should have joined with, um... The Entente while I had the chance. In hindsight, that was definitely the right thing to do. I still nationalize the oil industry. After June 1st, 1939... Oh, one of the following must be true. Okay. Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. I don't think I've ever seen that, actually. Okay. A Reich's Pact question. Well, I mean, they're in the Reich's Pact, so. I feel like they've answered the question already. As it is, we can probably claim. You want to attack Central America first? I don't believe so, because I think we still need to justify wars against them. And in either way, we'd have to go to war with the United States. We only have four to six divisions. Yeah, but we could have do it anyways, right? I mean, what if we... Claim Central America, declare war on them, and then invade the United States before... the Civil War even actually begins. Like, how would that work out for us? Because it seems extremely risky. Once this is done, that should be the end of the war here. Because they are getting guaranteed by the United States. And it would be three against, like, maybe, like, six divisions. We have nine. I'm really not too sure. 
what the proper way to do this is. We can establish some corporatism. Remove this max spirit economic legacy of the revolution. We definitely want to do that. Outlaw strikes. Only political power. Control in the unions and doing some of this stuff. Okay, so victory for the uh, federal government. Lovely. 67% stability is much nicer than what we've had in the past. And it costs 50 political power to, um, yeah, to try to attack the U.S. And we still have months until we're actually able to do so. So now is, again, the time where we can maybe start preparing, train some more troops. I'm like, four to seven divisions. Like, they've got to be... Weaker now than they will be during the Civil War. But I guess when you're, when you're doing the Civil War, you're not going to attack all the factions at the same time. I'm not too, too sure. It's either that or we attack all of South America first. How far do you actually go down? You go down to Costa Rica. Okay. So that's two, four, six, eight... It's 11 factories if we take over all of South America. And right now we only have four. That's basically doubling our industrial output. By moving our way down south. So we are going to claim the territory. Oh, and then we can just... Oh, we can actually... Oh, or the mix of war be gone. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of political power to actually fight all these people. But I do understand. So do we have claims on this territory now? We do. World tension is not high enough. That's okay. I just know Yucatan is supposed to rise up at some point. I just don't know what that point actually is. I mean, getting political power, we, we do need it though, don't we? We need the political power. To, um... To wage those wars we want. Factory output is nice. I think we need to clean Mexico of syndicalism, though, because right now they do outweigh us significantly. Like, the biggest party is still the Social Democrats. So we can cleanse them right now. Which I think we're going to do. We're we'll going to early mobilization right now. And we should more or less be okay. So it's going to take, what, 300 political power to do all the wars? Yeah, 300 to take everything. Once the American Civil War begins, I believe you guys should no longer be getting guaranteed by the U.S. At least that's my understanding. Um, so let's go for better rifles here. We will go for the radio, and then we'll also go for... Probably not resource gain. It's what, October right now? Better artillery, because we do have artillery in all of our troops, right, at the moment. So Yucatan. Do you end up rising up? I mean, what, what, other, what other modifiers we have here? More support going up. 2% recruited population would be nice, but I don't think it's actually necessary right now. So our max is 3.5%. Only at 1.7, so we don't need it, like, right now. Okay. Second Russian Civil War. Research B plus 5% is nice, but it's definitely not really what we want first. The research slot, though... Also nice. I'm going to take a look. Is there anything up here we want? Probably want to get a military revolution. I mean, we, we can probably start this in, like, January. So we probably do, like, one more focus after this is done. Do, like, one focus and then probably establish corporatism. And then we'll uh, do a military reform. At that point, the Americans of the War... Sh oh, Jack Lee has been erect elected? Fantastic. Um, that That's guaranteeing us, I think, the four-way. I don't believe you can have a three-way... With just read. Or with, yeah, with read. Gotta be four. 
Because MacArthur always takes a uh, charge here. So I'm wondering if we can like just attack California, beat the PSA, then move on to say the United States or something like that. The ANI have won the election, so they are national populist as well. Argentina, you're national populist, right? Yeah, we do like each other. And the United States at the moment. Like, why do you... You don't like us because why? We're claiming your territory? Yeah. I mean, how far up do we claim? Basically, all of the territory that Mexico used to have. Okay. Yeah, I really should have joined the Entente. Having a... Basically, creating a two-front war would have been very nice. But Canada can still intervene, can't it? I'm trying to remember, like, I believe they can. But it's, like, very specific of how they can do it. Maple line. They barely can't. I thought they could, but they just had to be, like, um... Authoritarian Democratic, like that. Anyways, 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 it doesn't really matter. Got three days left until you are done. It's gonna be January in just a moment. I mean, do we go for you first? It'll be done in... Uh, yeah, we might as well get it first. The corporatism, I think, can hold off a little bit longer than everything else. You definitely want to fight Guatemala first. Take their factories. I mean, they're the, they're the most populous country anyways. And, and people in South America are going to be fighting against each other as well. And I think that benefits us. question really is, do we attack the United States as, I think we have to attack the United States like as soon as possible, right? How many troops the U.S. has right now? They have five to eight divisions, which is garbage. Plenty of speed, plus 20%. That's because it's moving at negative 25. So it's actually a plus 2%. Right you guys are going to prepare your way up to the north. I mean, what, is, what does this actually do? Does it declare war on the United States of America? Okay, so... Maybe more options will pop up once um, the war has actually begun. Like, attack PSA, attack the American Union state. Attack the CSA. I'm not too, too sure. As soon as we're done. I mean, is there anything we want after that, too? I don't think anything here is super important. Like, of course, we want political power. The profession, like the production efficiency, the output plus ten percent, is really nice. Yeah, we are getting more divisions, which is lovely. We got about a year until we can recruit all five of these new divisions. Are you not going to rise up against us, Yucatan? I thought it was like guaranteed, but maybe it's not. So, got a week left on you. Yeah, and that's sweeping reforms. It's like March or April. I, sh I should actually know just what day it is. But it's around March or April, so we still got a few months until uh, we need to worry. I 
Guatemala has three to five divisions. Tighten the Mexican border. That seems... Because what are you? are authoritarian democratic. Unsurprisingly, everybody... Different ideology. Allies in the revolution. Plus 75. In El Salvador is also national populist. That doesn't matter because we're just going to kill them and annex them. What if we just go here? Delete this fallback line. You must be ready to go for an invasion. Head of the revolutionary action. Um, put one of our lieutenants to pyramid military ring of the uh, party. Go, go with you. But I want to save up my points to attack people, but I also want to upgrade some of these guys. Like a 10% attack is nice. But I think we got to save it so that we can quickly... Quickly do what we can. Um, researches. Okay, so... It is 1937, so let's just get all the 1937 industry techs. I think that seems more than reasonable. We could nationalize the oil industry. One civilian factory and 17 oil, but... Our max capacity right now is 550, roughly. And we're gaining 2.2 thousand, so we have more than enough oil to actually spare. Like, we're not at risk of running out. Which is great. The American Civil War. Are you ready to go for a... I think I'm ready for you. Still wish we could have joined up with the Entente. Maybe after, at like some point, we're still able to. I don't know. If we can't, then, you know, it is what it is. Oh, so everybody's declared a republic. Good for them. Oh, and all these little guys are breaking away. Standoff in America. Yeah, now we can theoretically attack anybody we want to. This modifier actually does not... We can actually attack the Pacific states before the war's even begun. How many men do they have? 9 to 16? You're lucky, Guatemala, for now. I'm quite like if I attack the Pacific States, though, does everybody else attack me as well? I honestly don't really know. How many troops do you have? 6 to 13, 18 to 28. Push our way up north. I mean, the thing is that the United States always does poorly. Like, especially make Arthur. Like, he's probably just going to lose the war, I imagine. We're going to wait until the war actually begins. You guys are like half strength. What's wrong with you? Is it an immediate declaration? No, it's a 20-day declaration. But I'm ready. You guys are like half strength for no good reason. 12 to 27. You guys are 11 to 20. You establish some corporatism. Seems like a good thing to me. Remove the... Let's get a capitalist alliance. The war will begin soon. I am gonna... I'm gonna... I'm not gonna be, again, a little bit scummy. Probably save beforehand, just to make... Just to see what happens if, um... 
if all the other factions do declare war on me when I intervene. I'm not too sure, like, if we attack the United States, instead of the PSA, we can probably definitely grab some territory. But, um... Because there's no way MacArthur's gonna win. He never wins. We can support the United States. It's absolutely not what we're going to do. So try to reclaim our territory. Yeah, they're gonna abandon the border. So we're gonna march in very aggressively as soon as the war breaks out. Because they're gonna they wanna fight across their entirety of the border here. You know, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not too sure, like, who is technically the best choice here. So it, might, it might be declaring war in the United States first is actually the correct option. Because we could easily grab some territory off of them. We got new troop is about to deploy soon as well. San Diego. Deploy you into Blue Army. Come up to the north, please, and thank you. But again, you actually are wanting to deploy on this front instead. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, remember thumbs up. Now enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.